If you are like me and gone out and bought the new DJI Vata, you will have received the DJI motion controller with it. And I was a little bit skeptical about this, but it's actually okay to fly with. But if you're also like me, you will have put this to one side and gone out and bought the DJI FPV controller version two. This will allow you to fly the Vata in full manual mode and be able to flip, twist, turn, and drop out the sky whenever you wish and take full control over the DJI Vata. Unfortunately, when I first got this, charged it, and then turned this on, it wouldn't connect. That's because you have to bind it. The way to do that is to turn on the drone and the goggles and also your DJI FPV controller. What you then need to do is press and hold the power button for the DJI Vata on the battery until it starts flashing in sequence. And then you need to do the same thing with the DJI FPV controller. After five to 10 seconds, the flashing and the beeping will have stopped and these two items will be bound together and you have full control over this with this. But if you are having problems with getting this to connect, then do not worry, I wanna show you exactly what you need to do right now. The problem may be that straight out of the box, this has the original firmware on it, but you do need to update it to the latest firmware. Firstly, what you need to do is go to dji.com, which is the DJI website, go to support and click on download. Then come over to software, DJI Assistant 2 series, and then come down to DJI Assistant 2, DJI FPV series. Click and download whichever version of the software you need to download, depending on whether you're using an Apple or Windows computer. Once that's downloaded, you will need to install that onto your computer. Now, if you're using Apple, there may be a point where a terminal pops up and asks you for a password. It's absolutely safe to do. Enter your password, hit enter, and it will finish installing the software to your computer. Once that is done, you wanna to go to applications and click on DJI Assistant 2, DJI FPV series. This may pop up, just click allow. And now it's asking you to connect the DJI FPV controller to your computer. To do this, you will need a USB-C cable. I have a USB-C to USB-A cable, and then I've got a converter to go from USB-C to USB-A as well. Connect them, and then you wanna turn on the DJI FPV controller. This will then pop up and you want to come over to DJI FPV Remote Controller 2. The firmware options will load and version one will most likely be installed onto your FPV controller. On mine, it isn't because obviously I've already upgraded, but version two will be available so you can upgrade to version two. What I would recommend is make sure that if you're using a laptop, make sure it's plugged into a power source. It only takes a couple of minutes, but there was a moment where it actually didn't go above 70%, so I just left it. Leave it, it will update. And once you've done that, go back to the previous steps of binding the controller to the FPV drone and you should be good to go. If you have any questions about the DJI Vata or about filming and photography in general, let me know down in the comment section below. If you wanna see more content, hit the subscribe button. And if you do, I'll see you right there. Thank you very much for watching.